One, two, three. Hi, good afternoon everybody. This is Don Sturkey of Don S. Leatherwork here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I've had some requests to explain how I do some of the stamping, border stamping, on my custom belts. Here's an example of what the questions pertain to. If you can see here, I don't know how well the photograph is taking, but you can see the stamping impressions on this belt. They go the full length of the belt where it is shown. And I'd like to share with you, as well as other leather workers who might be interested in modifying a machine as I did to do this stamping efficiently and with precision. What you have here is an inexpensive cast iron arbor press. It's from a major discount house here locally. What I did, because I am a tool and die maker, uh, by career history, I took out the arbor and I drilled a hole in the end of the arbor shaft. I also drilled and tapped a locking screw in the arbor. I've mounted this arbor press on a uh, plate of oak. I made myself some accessories right here. We have an accessory plate made from a cutting board a piece of oak, a stainless steel pen. What happens is you put that right there and it gives you a surface that is conducive to not, uh, you know, not uh, creating uh, problems with the back side of your leather. Right here I have a fence that I designed and made. What that does is it sets on the base plate I turned a wood knob and placed a tina in there and it's a very simple machine but very effective. Right here I have a handmade stainless steel bolt that I turned into a stamping uh, tool, an impression stamping tool. What I will do, just to show you how this works, if you can see that there, thank you so much Penny for filming this is place it up in there, align it how I would like, lock it in place with a thumb screw. I will bring the fence in and lock it in place. When I'm decorating a belt, what I do is I measure the distance from here to the front of the fence. And let's say that this is the distance I want to have. Oh, something else. I've also put a strap type return spring on the arbor so that it lifts the arbor back up. Watch this. All that I have to do to make my impressions nice and even, go ahead, move it like that, move it farther, and I'm staying a predetermined distance from the edge of the belt, like that. It was not an expensive machine to make. I think after a discount coupon, I gave $40 for the Arbor Press. And there you go. Isn't that nice? Um, with the modifications that I did in Pennies in my shop, uh, there was no extra cost. I don't know if you all want border stamping on any of your projects, but this is how I would do them. It gives me a nice as I showed you, a nice consistent impression along the entire length of the belt, a purse, a holster, whatever I happen to be making to one of my customers requests. That's it. If you have any questions, you're interested in seeing what I have to offer, I thank you so much and you have a wonderful day. Four minutes.